Hello, my name is Olga Kurilenko and this is my career in four minutes. I remember the director, Diane, she didn't want to, she didn't want to, in the beginning she didn't really want to see me because uh, the casting director told her, you know, I was a model because I hadn't done anything, it was my first part. And she said, well, I don't want models, I want a real actress. So she was auditioning the girl that just came out of acting school in France. And I think there were four of them. And she was looking for a French girl. And the woman told her I wasn't French. And she was looking for an Asian. <laughs> and I was an Asian. So everything was against me. But the casting director insisted that I see her. And uh, she ended up testing me. And she ended up telling me, she said that I was she tested everybody, apparently, and she said I was a Reese, that's the only, uh, Iris, Iris in English. So that's, apparently, that's why she took me. It's a great uh, ensemble of uh, movies, and they're all very interesting and great, and of course, to see me as, as this creature, I thought it was quite fun, because it's not me, it's, I have a completely different face. In fact, I remember we went to Cannes, and everybody were there, and then there was the after party for the film, and people asked me, and so, uh, so what, did, what did you do on the film? <laughs> And I said, because no one would recognize me, people had no idea who I was. I said, well, I'm the vampire. Oh, okay, you're the vampire. Because my face was something else. Well, that was my first English-speaking role. It was, everything was different. Well, I got there with hair till here, and they chopped it, and, you know, and I cried. <laughs> it was, um, I, I looked at myself and I thought, I'm a boy. I'm not a woman anymore. <laughs> And so that was quite, uh, you know, it made a big impact, but maybe in the way also I was in the movie. And the, the way I moved, I mean, the girl is quite, she's like rock and roll and she's a bad girl, you know? And because I had no hair suddenly, and I've never in my life had short hair before. I'm a long hair girl. And so that gave something to my character, made me feel a bit boyish and rock and roll. I remember it was madness when we, uh, when there was premiere in London. So many people, and everybody had a picture to sign. It was, uh, it was quite, uh, it was quite, you know, um, unexpected. <laughs> I'm very proud to be the part of the legacy, and uh, and the experience was uh, great because uh, people that work on that movie are just all so wonderful. They keep the same family for years, and they're very uh, loyal uh, to people they work with. And uh, I call it a bond school <laughs> because. I learned so much and I acquired so many skills while uh, preparing for the movie and shooting the movie. Of course, working with uh, all the boys, they were really cool. And it was, it was funny to be in this uh, very, very manly environment because it's, it's mostly boys. There are, no, there are no women in the movie. And I'm not exactly the, the incarnation of uh, femininity <laughs> either. I was quite terrified when I saw the movie. I thought, I did that? <laughs> That's just awful. I thought it's awful. It's one of the most intelligent, brilliant scripts I've ever read. Martin McDonough is, well, not, it's not a new thing that I'm gonna say. He's extremely smart, he's witty. It's just, it was, it's such a brilliant script. Everyone should read it also because it's, it's another thing to read it. It's just brilliant. Um, so of course I wanted to participate in the movie. Having um, watched In Bruges, I was such a big fan that when Martin said, oh, I'm gonna do a next movie, would you, it's a small part, it's, you know, nothing really, but would you like to? I said, yes. I said, yes, I just want to work with a guy. In this, this time, it's really different. You know, of course, no, no script, nothing planned. Things are, you know, he gives, um, he gives us scenes last moment. Um, he never, we never know in the evening what we're gonna shoot next morning because I think he wouldn't like us to prepare. He doesn't want any rehearsals. He wants people to be spontaneous. So he tells us last minute what we're gonna do. Uh, stories are all told by Terry. So everything is just verbal. It's what you remember. Working with Tom was fascinating. Of course, I learned so much from Tom. Um, he's an amazing um, actor, but also just person, the way he is professionally. Joseph Kaczynski, great director too. I think Joseph is, uh, is gonna be known for, for his visuals.